This is an instructional video which will go over uh, a couple of pieces of equipment from the SoCo line of uh, case handling equipment. Uh, the two pieces that I'm going to show you today are the F100. Uh, this is a semi-automatic carton erector and uh, back station. And then also we have uh, the SoCo T10, uh, it's uh, model 557. We'll do a top and bottom tape uh, of boxes that are uh, 20 inches wide by 20 inches high maximum. And uh, this, uh, both of these machines come in different sizes. Uh, this uh, F100, uh, we can order it uh, longer. Uh, right now this will do a 24 inch long box uh, by a 20 inch wide box. But of course there are other models. Uh, we can go wider and uh, longer. Uh, the F100 just uh, <clears throat> rests on the back of the tape machine. And, uh, that's the typical way that we set it up. Uh, we can also put legs on it. Uh, the machine already has holes pre-drilled in the sides, so if we wanted to uh, put legs on it and put it uh, on a, in, uh, incorporate it into a conveyor system, we can certainly do that. But um, as you see it, uh, this is normally how uh, it's uh, placed uh, next to the tape machine. And again, it just hangs on the back. Um, there's a couple bolts that, uh, that it hangs on. And it runs on compressed air. Uh, there's uh, an airline here, which you can probably see. And uh, we run it at about 80 PSI of uh, clean, dry air. Uh, that's really what, what makes it work. Uh, again, the T10 is uh, uh, basically runs on, on um, electrical, uh, single phase 120. You can order it in different voltages if you need it to run on three phase 230. We can certainly do that. Um, and it'll tape again the top and bottom of uh, boxes and we can go uh, wider. Uh, we have a wide body machine. We also can make the pillar uh, taller and handle a taller box. So uh, we can do the uh, high production atmosphere and it kind of bridges the gap between uh, manually folding and taping a box and uh, going into a fully automatic uh, carton erector. Uh, this is uh, a low cost way of getting it done. If you just take your boxes, um, and we, we recommend that you have them at an ergonomic height, uh, maybe uh, sticking on a pallet like this next to the operator. This, the operator just pulls the case, sets it on here, and you're just going to open the case like this, and you're going to use the plate here and here to help you close the minor flaps. You do that by just opening it like this, and then pressing it against that plate, and then moving it against this plate. That closes the minor flaps, and then all you're going to do is just take your box and push it against this micro switch here. That activates these plates that come up and close the major flaps. And I guess what the help is if this air was on. There you go. So that's all there is really to, you know, to closing the uh, flaps. Now you have a pack station. Now the, the box is closed and it remained, it, it's held closed by these plates. And now you can put your product in there. And then once your product is, is loaded, then you can simply take it and push it into the tape machine. Now, when I do this, the box, what happens is the box hits this micro switch here, and that deactivates these plates and allows you to put another box in there. So it, it drops the plates just as the box is coming into the, into the tape. Um, so that's, that's a very, very easy way of, uh, of erecting a case. And, you know, makes it easier for the operator. You know, I'll just show you in full motion here how this works. You can actually erect cases pretty fast. So that's how that works. And again, it just uh, just rests on the back of the tape. Now let's go over to the tape wrap wheel and come around and kind of go over the tape machine. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, this model here. Uh, we can offer it in different sizes, um, and we can actually do a very small box too. We can go down to uh, as low as two inches in height, uh, so the boxes uh, you know, can handle a wide variety of boxes. And uh, we have, as you can see here, side belt drives. Um, this is kind of standard. Um, this is a two-inch wide belt. We do offer three-inch wide belts, depending on the application. If you need more torque, we can give you a, a wider belt. But as standard, they come with these two inch wide belts. That drives the box through uh, past these tape heads. Uh, the tape heads are unique, and I'll go over that real quick here. The top one kind of just pivots in the top frame here, 
And uh, what allows that to happen is there's a there's a quick lock, there's a spring spring loaded quick lock in here, and that allows us to uh, basically uh, attach it temporarily to the frame here. And you'll probably notice there's a couple of holes drilled in the frame. Uh, I've moved the tape head forward. Um, you can also move it back, you know, depending on where you need to uh, uh, where you need to place the tape heads. By offsetting them like this, where you have one back here and the bottom one forward, uh, that allows you to take uh, and move the tape dispensers right on top of one another. And you can really go, like I said, a very low box. Um, you can handle a really low box by offsetting the tape heads like that. But um, it does give you some flexibility, depending on the box that you're handling, to either move it forward or back. And again, uh, what we're going to do here is I'll just show you the tape head again. We're going to flip it up like this. and uh, We have one of the easier tape dispensers to thread. And basically, you just take your tape it's in the end wind position, and you just set it on the tape hub here. This lever here locks it in place so it doesn't go anywhere. And then you just take about two feet of tape off. And all you're going to do with this tape is just follow the cutout of the dispenser. The, the tape goes around this one roller here and then through these two application fingers. That's really all there is to threading this dispenser. Just pull that down, and here's your knife. Knife arm. That's that's all there is to threading um, the tape. The bottom dispenser really is identical uh, to this one. The only difference is it's not you have to lift it out of the, out of the machine, but they're they're identical. Now what we do <clears throat> with our our dispensers, we're, we're somewhat unique in that uh, we have three wipe down rollers. This one here is a one way roller; it only spins in one direction. And you, you have your knife arm and your, your knife, and then the we have these two uh, wipe down rollers here. One is concave in shape and one is convex. They're also loose on the, on the frame here. And we do that so that um, if you have an understuffed case or an overstuffed case, uh, these, uh, the, the concave shape and the, or convex shape and the looseness of these rollers allow us to wipe down the tape no matter what condition the box is in. So we're gonna make full contact with either an overstuffed or an understuffed case. So that's the reason behind that. Then what we've added also for the uh, top dispensers, we've got a, a, a brush unit at the back here, and that again helps to wipe the tape down. The biggest thing with um, that people complain about with tape machines is tape's not being wiped down. So we've taken care of that by putting three wipe down rollers plus the the brush unit. So we're going to make sure that we wipe that tape down. So um, that's that's really the guts of uh, tape machine is the dispenser. We think we have a a pretty, uh, pretty good one. Uh, as I mentioned, this machine um, does tape the top and bottom, and uh, we can add different kinds of accessories. One of which um, that we can uh, that we offer as standard actually are these uh, side pressure rollers. And um, what what that does <coughs> is uh, here's a box that we we just taped. Uh, it presses these rollers press against the side of the box uh, as it's being taped. And this is what you end up with, a nice tight seam on your box. Uh, and that's, that again is a, a big problem uh, speci specifically for overstuffed cases. Um, you always end up with a gap and uh, again we're only using two inch wide tape here. Uh, so you want to make sure that uh, the, the flaps are fairly close together so you get a good bond uh, with the box. So that, that's critical. And we have three of them uh, in line there. The other thing uh, we can do with these machines is, is they're very uh, adaptable to different applications. You'll notice, again, we have lots of um, holes pre-drilled in the frames. Uh, right now, this, this machine is set up from right to left, feeding uh, boxes through. We can easily switch this around. Um, we can flip this whole dispenser and top unit uh, 180 degrees so we can feed boxes from left to right. We can do the same thing with the drives. And flip those around. Um, there's no special tools or uh, or uh, equipment that we have to change. Everything's already uh, designed so that we can adapt that for that uh, type of application. So it's a very uh, it's a very easy machine to change. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can raise the side drives. Uh, if you have a tall box, 
We can actually uh, put different pillars on here to raise these drives up to grab it at a higher height. Uh, we can also put different uh, gearboxes on our machines. This one here has got a 25 to 1 gearbox. Uh, that'll give you a 66 feet per minute speed of your belts. Uh, but we can go lower uh, or higher in speed, again, depending on the, uh, the application. Uh, additionally, uh, we have uh, the legs here um, are tubular in, uh, in design, and we have set screws in here. Uh, we can offer different size legs um, for different heights that you're working with. This one here, as standard, is set for a 27-inch in-feet height, but we can adjust it plus or minus 5 inches from center using the existing legs. Uh, of course, if we have a lower uh, in-feet height requirement or a higher one, uh, we can offer different legs. Uh, we have uh, four different size legs that we can put in here, so we can give you whatever, uh, whatever you need for your application. Uh, as far as the non-off switch, this is all kind of standard equipment that's easily available anywhere. This is Telemechanique or Square D uh, on-off switch. Uh, we have a push-button uh, e-stop here, and here's your main uh, on-off switch right there. That's very easy to turn that on and off. Uh, we've also fitted this one out with uh, casters. These are dual locking swivel casters, um, so you know we can move this around to uh, any position. Uh, that's a, another accessory. And uh, basically, uh, there's not much maintenance really required on this machine. It can uh, uh, basically, the only thing you really got to do to it is uh, keep it oiled. Um, with a WD-40, what we do is uh, recommend uh, on the knife. Uh, obviously, that's going to get uh, gunked up eventually with uh, the adhesive from the tape. So you want to just spray that with WD-40, keep it clean. Uh, same thing with the springs. There are springs inside the dispenser. You want to spray those down. And then uh, the back, uh, the pillar, as you probably noticed, um, there's a gas charge cylinder in here and a cable. So easy to, to adjust the machine, it's very easy. You can move it up and down very easily. Um, and you want to probably oil that because uh, it just, you know, there's bearings in back there. Uh, so if you're constantly moving up and down, just keep it clean. Same thing with the side drives. Um, they also are easy to adjust. You just ride on, on bushings. Um, and these are self-centering, by the way. Um, there's a cable system inside here. So setting this up for a box is very simple. In fact, I'll show you. you just take the box, and I'm going to just move everything out of the way here. Just take your box and just put it in the machine. And then, uh, you know, uh, again, we're just we loosen the cable, and now all you got to do is bring these together. As I mentioned, it's self-centering, and you just tighten that down. And then uh, what we'll do is just turn the machine on here briefly, <clears throat> and I'll just move the box in there and just stop it. Then all you got to do with the top some is just bring it down, just so it's resting on top of the box, just touching it and then just tighten that down. And then the side pressure rollers, you just push them against the box. And send your box through. That's really all there is to setting up um, the tape machine. It's very simple, easy. And that's about it. Um, uh, it's the, what you see on here, as far as the finish, is uh, this electro zinc plated galvanized steel. Now it's kind of a mouthful, but it, the zinc plating gives it that uh, shiny finish, but it's underneath is galvanized. Um, we don't have a painted surface on this. Uh, this tends to hold up better, actually, than painted uh, surfaces. We do, of course, offer on all of our machines uh, stainless steel. Uh, if you're in a uh, corrosive environment, uh, everything would be stainless. Uh, the dispenser, everything that would be on there would be 18-8 gauge stainless steel. So we do offer that as an option on all of our machines. But uh, essentially, the, in a nutshell, that's the F100 and the T10. We sell a lot of these. Um, it's a nice way to package, uh, to have a packaging line uh, to erect and tape uh, your boxes.